All right, a reminder that the Georgia locker room is currently open for interviews with additional student athletes. We are joined right now by Georgia head coach Katie Abrahamson Henderson and Georgia student athletes Diamond Battles and Javin Nicholson. Coach will not be making an opening statement. We will begin with questions for our student athletes. Please direct all of your questions at this time to our student athletes. John Steffi, Atlanta Journal Constitution. For both of you, what are the emotions like after a hard fought game and a tough loss like this? Um, it's, it's disappointing, of course. You know, we're competitors, you want to win. Um, we felt like we had a good chance, good um, fight, you know, contingency through the game. We had a good game plan and we were sticking to it. Um, you know, this is March Madness, though. There's going to be plays where, um, you know, tough players make tough shots, and that's just really um, how it went. Um, but how we feel, you know, we're grateful to be here. We're blessed to be here. Um, we feel like we took advantage of our opportunity. Um, but it is very bittersweet um, for our seniors, for just – our group in general, um, you know, we have a great group. We're really close, so it's just very bittersweet. Scott Dockerman with The Athletic. Uh, this is probably more for Javin and, and Diamond, I guess, both. Uh, the defense that you guys were able to play and, and kind of keep <coughs> the ball out of, out of the paint for Iowa, and I think they only scored two points um, on second chance opportunities. How are, is that indicative of the defense you played all year? And, and if so, uh, how did it help serve you today in your opportunities? I mean, yeah, that's just how our defense is. When we lock in the game plan, we focus on key components of what Abe needs us to do. And we just knew that we had to pressure the ball and disrupt their sets. Um, we played, our defense was really good today. We stuck to the game plan. We, we boxed out. We was on the boards. We got loose balls. We played Georgia basketball today. So. Susan Harlan, HawkFanatic.com. Um, you guys got the game to within two points there late, 66-68. Um, what, what was your feelings? What happened there? Why, why were you not able to sort of get over the hump? <laughs> um, just things happen. Um, game of basketball, you can't, um, you're not perfect in every area. Um, things happen and people miss shots and that's how you know the game goes that's the momentum swings and fortunately you know we, we had an opportunity and we didn't capitalize on it but that's just that's just how things go and we try to get it back on the other end and it just didn't happen that way Diamond 16 of your 21 points came in the first half was there something that you noticed Iowa do differently in terms of defending you in the second <coughs> half um, they wasn't, you know, letting me catch it as much. But, you know, when that happens, you just got to get my teammates open and it creates somewhere else, and I tried to do that. But definitely, you know, they made it harder for me to score on, on balls and everything else. So they kind of keyed in a lot on me in the second half, so that's why. Don, I wanted to <clears throat> sold an economist. Diamond seemed like the louder it got, the better you played. <laughs> do you kind of enjoy playing with this kind of atmosphere? Did that kind of make you motivated? Uh, like I said yesterday, when the lights are on, I kind of want to shine. So I was ready for this. My teammates helped me get ready for this. And I love playing in environments like this. I get to prove to the world who I am, um, showcase my name, let everybody see who I am. So I guess today that I was ready to play and ready to show the world on ABC Network that um, I was here. Any additional questions for our student athletes? All right, ladies, thanks for joining us. Thank you. Good job, Jeff. All right, we'll continue with questions for Coach Abe. Seems like things kind of fell apart there in the final two minutes with those three consecutive turnovers. What do you think went wrong there? Um, well, let me say first, Diamond was the best player on the floor tonight. She had how many points did she have? Diamond had 21 points, so I mean, she was the reason why we were doing what we were doing. So. Um, you know, I think, I think um, you know, our team played and did an amazing job and played great defense and played suffocating defense. And, um, you know, down the, stretch, down the stretch is not anything indicative of the game. Any additional questions for Coach? 
Braden Roberts, go Iowa, awesome. Uh, Coach, every time Iowa made a run in this game, you seem to have a response. Can you talk about your team's resiliency? Yeah, and every time we, we, made, a, we made a lot of runs. I know everything's going to be about Iowa right now, but my team is really good. They're really good. We came in here, we, we fought like crazy. We were the underdogs, but there was no underdog here today. We, we represented Georgia really, really well. Um, and it was a tied ball game. We made runs. We went up. They cut it. We, we, we get, they made some runs. We cut it back. I mean, it was an even game the whole game, the whole game. The last two minutes is not the game. So they, you know, I mean, we had two really, really good teams on the floor today. And one of them was Georgia, for sure. Along those lines, what does it mean kind of big picture for the program that in year one you're able to be as competitive as you were with a really talented Iowa team? It means my coaches are amazing, um, and we have a really good coaching staff, and we took 15 players and got them to this point, which is unbelievable. That's why I said Georgia was here too, everybody. And they're a seasoned veteran team, and they are good, and we were here. We were here, and we almost won the game. We were close enough to win that game, and I'm proud of our team. We brought a bunch of kids together. They bought in. Some of the Georgia players stayed. I brought some kids from UCF. Some of the kids like Audrey Warren wanted to transfer because she wanted to be a part of greatness. Um, and so the Georgia brand is there, and um, I'm just really, really proud of them to do this this year with 15 brand new players and our coaching staff. Um, that's why I keep saying Georgia's, Georgia's here today. Coach, your bench outscored, excuse me, Iowa 24 to nothing. Have they been that consistent all year? Yep. Yep. You guys just don't watch us. <laughs> you don't watch us. So we play in the SEC. The SEC is tough. They're tough, 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 tough. Um, so, you know, our defense has been the same. Our defense has held people down. Our defense held a lot of teams down to their lowest scoring. Um, and obviously, offensively, you know, we have a lot of weapons. So a lot of people are high scoring today. And obviously, Diamond Battles led the way for us. I mean, she, she Diamond Battles is a pro. She's a pro. I know her name's not going to be out there, and Caitlin's a pro for sure. But so is Diamond Battles. She is the reason we have gotten this far. I mean, she is comes into comes to UCF with me, player of the year, defensive player of the year, all that. Then she comes here, makes second team, all defensive team, plays one year here for us, and is the best player on the floor today, in my opinion. Um, she was leading everybody in scoring today, so and played great defense and got steals and tips and you know all that. And um, you know, and I, I felt like Javin played well, Brittany played well, Audrey played well, Zoe played well. Everybody that went in really represented. And I understand that a lot of them haven't been there's probably five of them, six of them that have never been in the NCAA tournament. So they, they we did an amazing job. Kyle Hughesman, a Hawkeye Report. The other day you you mentioned that you guys kind of go into games defensively with a goal in mind of, of how many points yep. you want to give up for every team. Um, is yep. 74 points kind of near the goal? Is that what you guys were looking for today? Um, well, we, we had them down before the last two minutes of a bunch of free throws. Um, so, I mean, we... You know, uh, when we played LSU, we held them down to lowest scoring and everything. So, I mean, um, yeah, I mean, we had them right there. Yeah. If, I'm not going to give you the number. <laughs> Coach, we have two online questions. Uh, oh. You're saying goodbye to many fifth-year seniors. What's mm -hmm. it mean to do it with this group of players, many that came with you from UCF? Yep. And what can everyone expect for the future of Georgia basketball? Well, you just saw it. Um, but we're going to get, we're going to continue. I mean, there's going to be a lot of people, kids, young kids that are going to want to play for us. Um, because winning is written all over Georgia. It's been in the future, been in the past. I mean, Andy Landers built Georgia. Um, and to, uh, talk about the five seniors that, I mean, that's hard because diamond battles I've known since she was a junior in high school. So it's probably been eight years. Brittany Smith, I've known since she's a junior in high school. So eight years for her. Lish has probably been four years. I mean, our freshmen, I've known that none of them played, but they're all coming next back next year, and they're good, and they're talented. And um, so I've known them for a long time. The only ones that I really haven't known for a long time are the, the ones that, were, uh, that decided to stay at Georgia and trusted us as a coaching staff. So um, it's just going to be really hard to lose, um, especially Brittany and Diamond, because they, they, they came to Georgia, and they – 
they, you know, they were like us, and they, they helped us build this. Reload this, I should say. Reload this. That last question was from Gabriella Lewis. From Joshua Louder, how proud are you of your team? No, I'm very proud. I mean, I mean I'm mean, i very proud. I Like all the things I've said, I'm very proud of them. Um, anybody could have won this game, for sure. Um, hopefully next year we will come back and we can host. That would be awesome. All right, do we have any other further questions? Colin Vosmeyer, uh, Daily Iowan. How did the scout on Gabby Marshall's shooting ability play out today? I don't know. What did she have? Gabby Marshall is just not my pretty eye girl. Um, yeah, I mean, it's but uh, good. I think good. I think the scout report on Caitlin was great. She had 16 points, you know, so that was she finished with a lot because she had some free throws, but she had 16 points. I mean, that's a, a scouting report. And she averages 27 points a game. That's a lot. So I think we did a great job on her. And I think, you know, their, their role players really stepped up. All right. Any other further questions? All right, Coach, thanks for joining us. All right. Go dogs. A reminder that the Georgia locker room is still open for interviews. Please check with our stewards outside for time remaining.